Hello dear traders, today is the 20th of November, the last trading day of the week. I'm Anna Kasatkina, you're watching Daily Financial News. The US dollar is ending the trading week on a bearish note. One simple explanation why the greenback has been heading downwards is the approaching weekend. Traders seek to lock in profits by closing buy positions on the US currency. In yesterday's trades, the US dollar index, which tracks the performance of the greenback against the basket of six major currencies, edged down to 98.80. However, today the price is attempting to regain some of the previous losses. Ahead of the European trading session, the US dollar index inched higher towards 99.30. In addition to the upcoming weekend, another factor leading to sell-offs of the American currency was yesterday's release of the U.S. labor market data, namely the report on jobless claims. Over the past week, the number of first-time applicants for unemployment benefits in the United States slipped by 5,000 as compared to the previous reporting period. Apparently, employers take into consideration the presently stable level of demand. As a result, the amount of jobs remains more or less the same. There were 271,000 jobless claims filed in the week that ended on November 14, which is slightly lower than expected. Economists had predicted that the number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits would come down to 272,000. The current situation in the labor market can be considered a convincing proof that the American economy is prepared to accept changes in the monetary policy. These changes will inevitably affect the exchange rate of the national currency. In making their projections, currency strategists have no doubt that the U.S. dollar will resume its upward trend in the short term. After the Federal Reserve finally makes the long-awaited decision on lifting its federal funds rate, the greenback is likely to reach parity with the euro. And this was Daily Financial News on Insta TV. Thank you and goodbye.